We want to make sure that these campuses allow people to stay socially engaged because we believe that's what's so important to people. When we think back on events in our life, we normally don't think about what our bedroom looked like, what our front door looked like. We remember events regarding relationships that we've had and the people that we know and the, those relationships that we maintain. The Clark at Keller Lake campus is designed specifically to help people maintain those relationships and develop new relationships. When we were thinking about this uh, several years ago, uh, we, we came up with a little phrase that we kept using over and over again in our discussions around drawings, the concepts, and it was no excuses. There's no excuse to build a community on this campus that didn't have those amenities, uh, the design, the, 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 the feel, the, the, the sense that this is a community. The Town Square model is entirely based on these social relationships. We want you, as a person living there, to be able to know who's coming and going, to have those chance encounters where you can run into somebody, you can talk about the game last week, and you can talk about what you heard on the news today, and just add that richness in life. In the past, many life plan communities have isolated people just in the same way that our suburban subdivisions have isolated people over the years. Years ago, people lived in these tight urban neighborhoods, front porches, sidewalks in front of the porches. People got to know each other. And in fact, this type of design is no different than what people in their 20s are looking for, people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and so on. It's not just age-friendly campus or a life plan community that this appeals to. This appeals to everybody. Grand Rapids is ready for a community like this because we did market studies, we did focus groups, and what we heard loud and clear from the people and the families we talked to was they wanted a community that could bring them together with their friends, whether friends they have today or fr friends they would make as they continue to age uh, in an environment like this. People living here will have no excuses why their lives won't expand, why they won't meet new people, why they won't be able to maintain those relationships. We believe it's part of our calling, part of our mission as an organization to continue to foster these kind of communities for older adults. We're responding to what we know is the demand today and what we know the demand is going to continue to be as years go on.